Yo, what's up guys? So we're gonna be doing uh, Governor Delete on this uh, 98cc. It came off a Coleman CT100U. Small little engine. All right, so for starters, if your engine's on a mini bike, uh, the low bolts for the uh, engine plate are usually 10 millimeters. And then if your throttle linkage is connected, uh, it's just a screwdriver. Unscrew them and take it out. And then for the, if you do have a, a kill switch, uh, your ground is usually gonna be connected to one of these bolts. And then your power, you just pull and then disconnect. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take off this uh, gas tank. There's one bolt here, right there. And then I would say, turn off your gas. Make sure you don't turn over your, your tank to where the lid's at, because it does have a breather hole. Then it's one bolt here and another here. And I believe that'll be all. Okay, so the bolts for the gas tank, uh, they're eight millimeter, all three. Uh, now we're just gonna take out all the oil. Um, the bolt should be a 10 millimeter. Once you take that off, uh, just loosen one of these or take it all the way. Now for the linkage, we're gonna take off this nut. Uh, it is a 10 mil. This spring, we're gonna have to relocate it. And then uh, now that you're at it, take off these two. So once you take off the nut, this is gonna come off. There is gonna be another nut in there. Just un unscrew it. Now all you're gonna do is take some pliers. Grab this little pin right here and just pull. Now you're done with the top. Uh, mine came with the clutch or chain cover, whatever that is. Um, so you're gonna have to take off this little bracket and take off the clutch also. So once you take off the clutch and your bracket, uh, for the bolts, it is gonna be a 10 mil. Uh, most of these back ones are just gonna be 10 mils. Uh, I put the bolts back in just so I don't have bolts everywhere and I know where they go. Uh, now just take off this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And it should uh, open up this back piece. All right, so once those uh, six bolts are um, off, now you're just gonna like wiggle it to take it off. Careful with that little gasket. Take off your plastic cam, and then uh, try to see if you can shift your uh, piston, because we're gonna get uh, into that. Try to see if you can take that off. Now for this side, where the pull starts at, take off this bolt, take off that bolt, and there's a third one right here. Should be at eight mil. Once the pull starts off, to take off that nut, use an 18 millimeter. Don't forget to take off your cover. Uh, these bolts are eight millimeter. One there, one there, one right there, and the one right there. Okay, now that that's off, uh, to take this off, uh, all you need to do if it's hard to take off, hit it with a hammer from like the sides. Uh, if anything, hit it like on the sides. Um, but if you hit it right here, this should, should come loose real quick. So now that that's off, this is what we're gonna be getting to, the little pin. Either you're gonna push it in or push it out. So now on the other side, there's this pin right here. Black little pin, along for the top. Move this into the side. And the back pin, this is it. All you wanna do is stick like a screwdriver, like that or something, just so you can 
hit it with the hammer and then it will come out through the other side. So I found those better to hit it from the back. Um, this is a small little screwdriver that just fits perfectly in there. Uh, so I put it like that and I just slammed it with the hammer and eventually it came out. What came out was this. So that's the little pin that was stuck right there. You just slam that, pushes in, releases. So now with that pin in that position, uh, so that way I can hold it down. I would say if you have a grinder, you could just cut that off and then it'll easily come out. Or if you have some sort of pliers, like a cut it or, I say a grinder would be, be your best bet. So once you take out the pin, it should look like that, just a hole. Uh, there is some washers, one right there, and there's one on the pin. Uh, if the one on the pin or that one gets stuck, make sure to, to get it out. That the washer. That way it don't fall out while using the, the mortar and messes all that up. So I don't have Loctite. This is what I did with the holes. Now with the cam inside, make sure the dots align. Those two dots right there. Just make sure they align. That's how everything should look. This is everything that we took off. That was like the governor. So now you have this side cover on. Uh, don't forget out your bolts, uh, tying them real good, and just reverse all the process of what you did to take it off. Uh, it's really easy. So for the throttle, the little linkage, I am using the stock linkage from the cover, but for the little um, spring, I connected it to the bolt that was replacing the hole and the governor. Just put it like that, around it. I don't think it will come off. Just makes that sound, because it does hit a little bit. But it's not too bad. So for the throttle, and the carburetor, I ended up using a uh, old wire hanger. I cut the straight piece, and just, just like folded it a little bit. Made a hole right there, straight through. But that's how everything should look. Okay, so when you do this bar over here, that little screw right there, you see how the metal touches the screw? You wanna make sure that little metal piece, this one right here, touches that screw all the way whenever you do put it. That way in idle it won't um, mess up or it won't like start idling up on its own. So right there it's pretty tight. I don't think you can get any, any better than that. And then well, when you do accelerate, it does open all the way. Uh, that little screw, right there too i believe that's like that's like your idle screw it does control the carburetor all right so the engine all together everything good don't forget to turn on your gas i'm gonna put my phone right here See if I could start it first. Pool. All right. 
it's cold, chokes on, remember to turn on your gas, we're going to pump it one, pump it twice, first pull.